Gordo here, and... Hi, I'm Hope, November Delta 2 Lima. Welcome to HamRadio.World. And uh, Gordo, wb 6 away. So we're looking at amateur television here in Southern California. Go ahead and just key it up for about two seconds and then let the carrier drop. And she is going to up key. And one more time. There we go. And drop the carrier. Good. And now you brought up the Santiago Peak uh, repeater, Hope, that uh, is going to carry that into the Internet and go literally around the country. And uh, you're on Ham TV, so now you've got to give your call sign. So go ahead and uh, lift up and give your call sign and hold, close it right up to your mouth. Go ahead. November Delta to Lima. Clear. Clear. Okay, uh, that was good. <laughs> good. Um, so we're here at Gordo's house. We're in California. It's our last day. We're learning about a new aspect of ham radio here that I didn't actually know existed until today. Ham TV. Yep, the very latest. Over here um, is going to be all the satellite equipment. So if we had a good satellite pass or two or three, uh, we'd turn it on and uh, work uh, weak signals uh, to the satellites. As you can see, we're already on one of the weak uh, signal uh, bands there. Amateur television, scanner radio, uh, rotators. you got to have rotators, right? Spin those antennas around. And... Um, uh, now you can uh, bring your chair up here, just bring the whole chair and sit right there. And we'll turn on a few lights and uh, this is where we do our Ham Nation cast. Uh, we speak into uh, the audio there, we watch uh, Leo Laporte and all the uh, Twit Network off the uh, uh, television there, little tiny camera here, and if you've watched uh, Ham Nation and you wonder how they know when to change to the next shot, press on this telegraph key, just go ahead and press it, and look what happens here. So they always see my image even though they're showing something else, so when I want the next short shot to uh, come up, let her rip, go ahead. There you go, that means go to the next shot without having to say a word on the air. And there's other lights in this room, but it gets pretty warm, and uh, that's our ham nation. Now, let's see if Dad can follow you right this way. Keep going. Now we're going to go into the other radio room. Oh, yeah, no, you got to bring along a Piggy. So we're here seeing his setup, getting decoration ideas with the lamp. Right, so circle all the way around, have a seat at the chair. And uh, you may even want to shoot from over there, Dad, and get a big smile on her face. I'll turn the volume up and get a feel for tuning the knob, the big knob. Good technique. Now, see on the screen, let's get, uh, let's see who this person was here. So just touch it with your, oh, you can do it that way. Oh, that's a birdie. Yep. Let's go down here and see who this guy is. Boy, he's in the ozone, huh? There's one right there. Oh, there's a good one there. Watch this. R-F-4, and uh, holding pretty steady, so... Uh... Yep, I got a go fiddle with that antenna. Oh, not trip over that antenna. I don't know if I'm So this is the uh, high frequency yards, uh, radio but, uh, where anyways, I got uh, it, so. all many times we'll do maritime mobile nets. Uh, we use the uh, Ohio microphone and uh, there's a foot switch uh, down there on the floor and uh, the foot switch uh, keys in everything. And then if we want to play digital, we come over here and uh, we're on um, the uh, uh, FT8 mode, we're on 50.313, and so far no band opening, not much activity going on yet on uh, that particular mode. But this will just give you an idea of the digital, and uh, all of the digital interface between the Kenwood and the computer is just one thin cable, and 
hold these in your hands and tell, tell the world nobody can operate ham radio without these guys. And these, of course, are chokes that keep their interference out. How many of those do we have in our truck? Uh, a lot. hundred. Yeah, we, we, we do need chokes because everybody has interference. That's right. Chokes, yeah. And we'll put these on all of our computer leads because one band, when I transmit, uh, this begins to shrivel up and it tells me I got RF getting uh, into it. Scanner radio here. That's the big HF radio. And then over there are additional radios that we use to talk locally on the two meter band as well as on uh, some of uh, the other bands. And um, two meters, 440, 1270 in that group over there. And then this is the big high frequency radio that we're on every morning and uh, most uh, late afternoons. So this is the main uh, radio room and uh, where we uh, answer the phone. We have students call up all over the country uh, with questions or maybe they're gonna want a radio check and uh, it's fun to do that. <clears throat> so Gordon, this something that's always amazed me is that you are relatively famous in the amateur radio world no, but when just, when you call but when you call here you answer the phone uh either i do or susie my yeah. wife does and um uh, we are we're actually retired so i really have nothing to sell and uh, uh although i sure promote folks that have a brand new license as all of your kids have done is to get on the air. And that is so important that what you're doing is beside holding the extra class, you're a real extra class operator because you are operating on the air. So good for you and your whole family. Well, we're here seeing Gordon's setup and we need a bigger shack if we're gonna, <laughs> if we're gonna do something like this. Uh, um, there's a lot of good ideas for stuff that you need to do here. So you guys, you and do a ton of different, is that your mascot? Yes, every ham has to have their mascot. So so that's uh, Mr. Floppy and that's uh, Ms. Piggy. This is Piggy and this one's actually a boy. His sister's a girl. She's Papa One uh, Golf Lima Tango. Oh, that's great. Um, so. I don't really have a ton of questions except for you do a ton of things in ham radio, um, which I guess is good because it helps you be able to write your books and actually understand what you're doing. So how do you have time to do all of it and get on Ham Nation? And <laughs> Sometimes I wonder myself, but it's fun writing the book and right where you're sitting is where I will be updating the new extra class book that's coming out shortly. But uh, we do all of the book writing uh, right here while listening to ham radio because you can't really tell someone about a, a hobby unless you're really involved in it. So I'm one of the few book authors that regularly uh, monitors and, and uh, makes calls on the air. And people tell me, you should get more folks thinking about this or more kids into our hobby. So that's your mission is more kids. So. I think that's it for now, but thank you, Gordon, for letting us see your setup, for letting us make a video and all. Uh, don't forget to watch Ham Nation. That'll be later tonight. Every Wednesday. Uh, what time is it? I know it's Eastern, but... Well, thank you so much for coming to visit at the house. Okay. And Miss well. Piggy. And Dad. <laughs> okay, that's it for now, guys. Thank you, Gordon. 73.